Hey guys, welcome to Anderton's TV, my name is Pete, and today I thought I was going to show you one of my pedals, one of my favourite pedals actually, uh, a pedal that I've used a lot on tour, and I'm, I'm super happy with it, it sounds great, it's got some great effects in it, it's very very easy to use, it's very user friendly, and it's a pedal that I think would do really well in anybody's arsenal, even if you have a small pedal board and you're looking for something with a small footprint, this is a pedal that really really could work for you. So it is the Eventide H9 uh, harmonizer, which have got, as we know, loads and loads and loads of effects in it, algorithms. Uh, the one I have here is a maxed out version, and you've got all of the effects from the time factor, you've got all the effects from the mod factor, the pitch factor, the space, and the, the, uh, the ones that are exclusive for the H9 as well, uh, which, which was is what I'm going to talk to you about today is actually the space time, which is the new uh, algorithm that Eventide has put in here, and it basically allows you to use three or four effects at the same time. So it allows you to have modulation, it allows you to have two different delays and a reverb, and these, of course, are the modulations based on a chorus kind of. Uh, effect and these are all taken from other Eventide stub boxes and, and effects um, from the uh, their plugins and, and whatnot. So you know you're going to have something that just sounds great. I'm hooked up into two Fender Hot Rod Deluxes in stereo uh, coming out of the pedal here. I also have an expression pedal on the floor in case I need it a little bit later to show you some other things. But I thought uh, let's have a little listen to some of the presets that are in the new space time. So the first one is called Aphelion, perhaps. Let's try and listen to what that sounds like. So here we go. And as you can hear, there are more than one effects on here. So you basically got chorus, you've got reverb, you've got two different delays that you can run out in stereo. So if I go onto the pedal view here of on the on the app here, I'm running it with the uh, Eventide 8.9 app, which you can get for any device. This is the an iPad, a really old one, but it still works fine. Uh, so no need to change that. Uh, so you got the modulation, you got the two delays here, and you've got your reverb. So a really cool feature is you've got the mix over here. Uh, you can see how it's laid out and how it's rooted. So if I want to turn, if I for instance turn down the level on this one here, you can see that the blue line now goes. Uh, and that's how it will root it. So if I turn the level up on the on the modulation, you can see how the, the routing of, of the pedal changes as we do this, which is really cool, see? So the, it does all that automatically for you. Uh, so it's got loads of different effects here. Let me try to demonstrate, um, take a really simple one, so not save that one here. So there's a nice chorus. I'll just pop back here to the, to the overview of, the, of all of the knobs here. And this is kind of just a really nice chorus. So there's no effects on there, so you can hear it's very dry, very dry. So I'm going to start by just putting a little bit of reverb on here, turn it up a tiny bit, so you can hear there. Alright, let's try to turn it up a bit more. So then I can of course give it some more decay. I can go all the way up to infinite and freeze. I can also color, color the sound. And then can 
now to go over to a parallel. And if I want to change the chorus, I've got the uh, the, mod, mod, the the modulation here. So. Can add some delay on that. So delay level to turn down. You can hear it's only in the one speaker now. So I'm gonna just uh, pop on some delay B for the other speaker for the other. Uh, amp. That's a really really cool feature. So you you can simply make your own delays. You can go into any of these. And you can make your own presets and you can then save them in, you can pop them into the pedal, which is really cool. Uh, just absolutely brilliant, you can do that. You know, you, can, you don't have to use all three. So that's really cool. So let's say you've got the core version of the H9. Uh, all you do is pop into the store here. Now I know I'm, I'm maxed out on this one here, but you go in to your H9 and you will then just pop in here and you will go into the space time you buy that and then you can basically make you know you can have chorus delays or reverbs and that's great because you don't have to use all three at one time you can use one so let's go back to the presets here that we've got so let's go in and turn let's say the delays down let's turn the modulation down and the delays So then you got a really, really nice reverb. Really nice reverb. And if you just want a little bit of modulation, you just put... Those are, those are, that's really cool. You can also just turn that off and use it as a as a delay. If you want to do that, let's turn some of that reverb down.
Anyway, you can do loads and loads and loads and loads of things on there. So let me just take you through some of the other algorithms that are on here. So uh, things that I like and I use is, for instance, the, uh, the rotary. which you can also use with the Espresso pedal. So if we want to have a big fat cabinet here, you go in here. So if you want to take a, let's say you want to take a slowly rotate. So what I'm doing now is I'm turning the Espresso pedal up. Really cool feature there. Uh, go back to the algorithms, for instance, go into, there's a one here. Uh, soft chopper, don't say that. Lazy facey wall. Talking back. Which is kind of like a like a talk box. <laughs> Love that one. Uh, let's go back in here. Let's go into some shimmer effects. Shimmer is really cool. We like the shimmers. So let's pop down and just go. Size matters, of course it does. You got your vibrato, you get the idea. And so on and so forth. You got your flanger. Classic fan flanger sweep. Which you can also control with the expression pedal. And you have got, um, we can also just change the view here. So you get all of the ones on the side, which is a bit easier actually to do it like this. So you go flanger, you get phaser. Just cool straight out of the box presets that you can then work with, save your own preset from there. We can go on to something that is really cool, which I also have used. You know, if you are playing in a band where you need uh, the guitar to kind of be, uh, have a synth 
uh, effect on, on, on the song uh, and you don't have a keyboard player or something like that, then you can use uh, the pitch flex in here uh, or the octaver. So, so all of the algorithms that comes from the pitch factor. Um, so you can go in here and say, Uh, a be a funky classic octaver. Uh, dirty vocals. And so on and so forth. Loads of them. You can edit them. You can put them in. You can save them onto your, onto your iPad or to your uh, H9. Let's go into some of the delays here. Um, so let's just let's do a, the Vince's delay, which is uh, which is very, it's great. I like it. Do some long ones. Slappy type. And so on, you've got uh, loads of delays here, digital delay. Very cool, you got some copycat. Alright guys, so I'm just going to show you the, the basic loop in here. Um, there is loads of presets in here, how you can do it. There's different record time, resolution, octaves, filters, decays, everything. You can put everything on, it's not just a kind of standard loop, it does more than that. But I'm just going to quickly do a little loop here and, and show you how it works. Basically, I'm just going to use my hand over here, so bear with me if I don't get it right the first time.
anyway, does loads of things, <laughs> as you can see. It's great, there's a loop in here, and it's, it's, it's useful for, for loads of things. You also got your tremolo in here, so let's say we'll get a, just a... And so on, and then you've got your flanger, your wah, your chorus, and then we come into your other modulations here. So you've got the H910, 8949, where you've got kind of your, your old Panama from 1984, and this one also gives you delays. <laughs> and here's a cool feature that I wanted to show you with the pit flex. So people have been asking about the uh, the pit flex and can I use that as a whammy type pedal? And the question, the answer is basically yes, you can. So if you go in and choose your your pits, and you've got your uh, Expression pedal on the floor. So you can definitely do that, no problem at all. And you got your octave, you got your crystals. Then we come to the the uh, the room, uh, reverb side of the pedal. Uh, you can see there's so much to cover in this pedal. It's absolutely ridiculous. It does so many things. All right. So just run through some quick. Uh, let's go to the plate. Then let's try to pop onto some uh, some spring reverb here. As you can hear, there's a bit of tremolo in that. Just really, really sweet delay uh, uh, reverb here. Uh, because you've got the shimmer, which we went through, all the other ones here. And then you come into the H9, uh, the ones that are exclusive for the H9. You got your alter tap. Uh, loads of other things. There's a resonator in here. It's beautiful. And you got your EQ and your compressor. So there's like an acoustic that you can use on an acoustic guitar. Balls. Cool compressor. You can use it for bass. 
He's great. Uh, then you have the cross station here with some over. <laughs> Punk rock. Loads of that stuff, you can do all that as well, dry sustain, and then you come to the space time, which is the one that we started out on. So let me just quickly show you how you can do your presets in this pedal. So you go onto the preset list, you go and pop over to the pedal, and it'll now get all the information onto here. So these are all the presets that you now have inside your pedal, see? So when I click these presets, it changes on the pedal. Right, this is really cool because what you can do is with this, is you can set it up exactly how you want it. So let's say you've got a gig, you've got three sets, 10 songs in each. What you do is you set them up, Set number one, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here, next one up, sorry. So ten and the next one again. And you just set them up, you just all you have to do, you don't have to search around in it for on the floor. You literally just bang up to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. It's really cool to do. So what you want to do is you want to go edit lists, and then you get all your all of your uh, algorithms up on the side here. So let's say on the first song you need to have kind of a chorus thing. So you go down and you find your chorus, which is on this side over here. Where are you? Chorus man. There you go. So, and then you can then pre-listen to the... You know, let's say you've made your own, you've saved your own, you've named it, uh, whatever song you're playing, but it is kind of a chorus effect. Then you just go in there and you pick that... Say, there it is. So what you do is you put your finger on it and you then drag it onto the first song. That's it. So let's say you want, on the second song, you need some, uh, you need kind of an octave kind of thing. So you go into your octaves, you click octaves, you find the thing that you... Let's say that's the one you need. You drag that onto there. There it is. And the next one you need like a massive, nice whole reverb, like a Carnegie. You need that on the third song. You drag that in there, bosh. And of course, now that we've got this ridiculously amazing new space time where you can mix three in, you can make your own in there. Let's say you want another one. You want a Fox Leslie on the fourth song. Grab that in, put it onto there, have a little listen. Lovely. And then what you do is you then say you want to save it and then it's going to sync it up to the device. And it's going to throw these presets onto here. So now when I then go into the first Preset is now big clone. Second one is the bass. Third one, Carnegie Hall. Fourth one, Fox Leslie, and so on and so forth. That's how easy it is. It's absolutely brilliant. So, and, and when you are rehearsing, when you're doing your, your production rehearsals or whatever, you can sit down and you can literally leave the pedal on your pedal board. You don't have to bend down and faff about with it all the time. You can have it, you can do this, all this via your phone and you can you can store it in here that's how we see this all right guys well that was my little look into the eventide h9 pedal uh great pedal i really really like it the tones are absolutely brilliant the reverbs and the delays and everything just sounds great and it's easy to use via the h9 app here easy to put stuff on you know from the, you saw how easy it was it can't be much easier than that so what not to like uh I hope to see you soon, again here on Anderson TV. I was Pete, take care.